Final Cut Pro 10.3 was released yesterday, and although I haven't had much time to play with it yet, it's immediately apparent that this is a huge update. In fact, I think Apple did itself a disservice by labeling this as a dot release instead of just calling it Final Cut Pro version 11.0. Redesigned flat interface. This is a completely redesigned, dark, flat interface that's devoid of the 3D look and feel of the previous versions of Final Cut Pro 10. It is admittedly a little jarring at first, but it won't take you long to settle in, and I actually find that the darker, flat interface is easier on the eyes and allows you to focus on your content. And a lot of the changes that you'll find with some of the layout and the button placement aren't just done for the sake of change, but it's obvious that a lot of thought has gone into this redesign. Flow transition. Like? Apple has introduced a new flow transition feature in Final Cut Pro 10.3 that's going to remind you of Adobe's Morph Cut tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. The flow transition allows editors to smooth the jump cuts to make them appear as What's seamless transitions. Like? This right is a now, welcome addition that will surely save time. editors a lot of time. Custom workspaces. Yes, folks, finally. Custom workspaces are now a reality inside of Final Cut Pro 10. If you click on the window menu in the menu bar, you're gonna find a new workspaces option for saving custom workspaces. And then you can use that same window menu to switch between workspaces. Of course, you can apply keyboard shortcuts to your favorite workspaces. It is really cool to finally have this feature in Final Cut Pro 10. Remove effects and remove attributes. In the edit menu, you're gonna find two new options, a new remove effects option and a new remove attributes option. Remove effects is a little more drastic as it eliminates all effects applied to any of the selected clips in your project timeline. Remove attributes is a little more subtle, allows you to selectively remove specific effects. Faster audio fades. If you go to modify adjust volume, you're gonna find two new options, apply fades and remove fades for quickly managing fades for audio tracks selected in your project timeline. Now these effects pertain to the head and tail of the audio tracks selected, but you can also assign a keyboard shortcut to toggle audio fade in and toggle audio fade out, which pertain only to the in or the out point of the selected audio tracks. Very handy new feature. In Final Cut Pro 10, you can also set default fade duration. So if you navigate to the editing section of Final Cut Pro 10's preferences, you're gonna see a new option that allows you to set the default fade duration for audio tracks. Of course, this is a great feature to use in combination with the previously discussed faster audio fade option in Final Cut Pro 10.3. Full Height Inspector. In the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10, the inspector height is no longer limited vertically. You simply double click on the inspector heading to get a full vertical view within Final Cut Pro 10. This is great news for those of you who like to keep all of the different sections within the inspector expanded. That way you can view more information on screen at once without having to scroll. Quick Layout Buttons. In the upper right-hand corner of Final Cut Pro 10.3, you're gonna notice three new quick layout buttons. There's a button for the browser, the timeline, and the inspector. You can quickly toggle these different sections on or off via a quick button press. If you're viewing the browser by itself and click the inspector button, the inspector will automatically display in full height like discussed previously. Enhanced Timeline Index with Redesign Roles Panel. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I don't really use roles that much in my editing workflow because of the type of videos that I make. They're fairly simple and straightforward. But now in Final Cut Pro 10.3, you can now easily edit roles, including clip color. You can also change the arrangement of roles right within the timeline index and have them apply immediately to the project timeline. Another feature that you'll likely enjoy is the ability to apply quick focus to a specific role, which causes other clips assigner roles to be minimized in the project timeline. Now, of course, Final Cut Pro 10 lets users assign roles after import, but in version 10.3, you have greater control over what clips are assigned to specific roles prior to import. Needless to say, if you use roles in your editing workflow, you're gonna be pleased with these new additions. Audio Lanes and Timeline Index. Another new feature that you're gonna find in the Roles panel of the Timeline Index is the new Audio Lanes button. Final Cut Pro 10 now essentially allows you to pull clips based on role assignment into dedicated lanes. This allows users to get a quick high-level overview and work on like clips, which are organized and identified by their role metadata together in one handy grouping. And once editing is finished, your clips magnetically go back to their original positions. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a quick hands-on look at Final Cut Pro 10.3. What's your favorite new feature? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.